2019 saw Marvel release the highest grossing film of all time, Avengers Endgame. The incredible finale to a decade-long saga spanning multiple films, actors, directors, characters, countries and planets. The Marvel train was at full speed and nothing could stop it. If you had bought your ticket, you had better fasten your seatbelt because Phase 4 was right around the corner. But then, we got nothing. 563 days. That's how long it had been since Marvel Studios had released anything. With 2009 being the only outlier, Marvel's record saw them release a movie every year since 2008. The train had well and truly slowed down to a stop. The question was, did they still have that Marvel magic in their repertoire? Today, I'm going to be taking a look at WandaVision. Now, full disclosure, the full season hasn't finished yet. Episode 4 only came out last Friday, but I'm making this video now because I think I have the answer to the question. If you've watched the channel before, you'll know that I like to take a deep look into the editing and filmmaking of particular scenes, and this video is no different. I'm going to be taking a closer look at Episode 4's incredible opener, a truly brilliant scene that left me stunned. The scene opens with a very deliberate aura of stillness. Before we see anything at all, we hear echoes of old dialogue and old memories from our protagonist. Then we slowly fade in from black to our first shot, a tight close-up of Monica Rambeau, who is being undusted, brought back from the blip. The camera remains stationary until Monica gasps her first breath back in the world. Notice how the camera only starts to move back, here. As she comes alive, so does the camera. And it's very much a blissful awakening. The camera seems to float ethereally while Eden-like sun rays shine in through the blinds. Every choice here was designed to make us feel like we've woken up from a nice wholesome sleep. But then we cut to only our fourth shot of the scene and things start to change. I won't play the whole shot through just now, but we don't cut from this point for another 36 seconds. This is known as a one shot or a long take. One shots have many applications, and some great examples include Touch of Evil's tension rising opening as a bomb is planted in a car boot. Or Henry Hill's entrance into a local club showing us the character's power and status in Goodfellas. They are often used to establish environments, characters and scenarios in more engaging ways, though sadly more often than not now they are used as impressive gimmicks. But director Matt Shackman chooses to use one here for the right reasons. It isn't merely a neat trick, it's used to convey chaos. You have to remember it's likely that everyone watching knows what is happening. We all know that everyone is being snapped back. So how do you give that audience an insight into the hysteria that the characters are experiencing for the first time? We often attribute quick successive cuts to mean confusion, and we do see some of that later, but instead of overloading the audience right away with the editing, we don't cut, we just see. Our calm floating camera though has intensified to a shaky handheld jolt, leaving everything we see stretched and blurred. The sound design amplifies as we move through the hall, a parade of shouts, screams, gurneys, footsteps, and clever blocking allows us to see everything around Monica, the camera starting from behind with passing hospital staff allowing us to swing back in front. She reaches the desk and smashes into someone getting knocked over in the process, a likely point to cut, but we still don't. We are only one minute into this episode. Seriously, only one minute, and we already have a perfect view into the chaos panic and confusion of this moment. But while the one shot was so effective in portraying this for the audience, we now need to see how this is affecting our protagonist. The sound design that had been rising is zoned out and replaced with a piercing tone and Monica's heartbeat. Monica? We're no longer in the hospital, we're now in Monica's head. And instead of following Monica, the camera starts a series of arc shots. Arc shots are often used to show a character's surrounding environment. 
As the name suggests, the camera moves in an arc or circle around the subject. It's often used for conversations, but perhaps most famously used in City of God to show Rocket in the middle of a gang police standoff. Uma fotografia podia mudar minha vida, mas na cidade de Deus, se correr o bicho pega e se ficar o bicho come. E sempre foi assim, desde que eu era criança. Here, the arc shot is cut into three times, jolting the viewer from the scene. They aren't cut neatly either. Each time we leave Monica in one point of the circle and come back at another. This perfectly portrays the character's headspace. Her mind is racing from thought to thought and this is matched with the cutting. I mentioned before that quick successive cuts are often used to portray confusion and this is exactly what was happening here. So have Marvel been able to recapture that momentum after the forced hiatus? I think the answer is a clear yes. I know this is just one scene, but every tool is used here to put the audience in this world, and every choice is meticulously made. We feel the hysteria of the blip firsthand. 563 days. Now, I know this is the fourth episode of the season, but this is the first time we come out of Wanda's reality and into the MCU reality we all know. And as we awaken blissfully from that long slumber, slightly dazed and confused, we are plunged right back into the heart of this world. The Marvel train is well and truly back on track, and Phase 4 is on the way. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I know it's been a little while since I last released a video, but WandaVision has really inspired me, uh, especially recently with episode four, so I felt like I had to make a little video on it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please uh, like and subscribe and share and all those things if you fancy it. Um, but also, yeah, just uh, leave a comment. Uh, what do you reckon is gonna happen for the rest of WandaVision? Because we've got it all still to come. Thanks for watching. Cheers.